And right now we're going to go back to Dr. John and Vicki at the side counter. Vicki. Thanks, Amanda. Um, now, the next plant that Dr. John has is a mystery plant that looks more like he's got a flower arrangement here. Huh. What, what have you got here? Well, it's beautiful, isn't it? It's, it actually is. And this is a very easy mystery plant for everybody, I'm sure, because it grows everywhere. It likes to grow in old fields, and I know you've seen it. Um, it's here in my there. yard. It grows in sandy places <laughs> and the edge of the woods. And it's in the sunflower family. And of course, you see it's got these kind of snaggly looking dried up leaves now. But now earlier, when they're alive, they're really pretty green on right, one side and, and on the underside, it's really nice and silver. And very fuzzy. And I think a lot, of, a lot of people in South Carolina and maybe elsewhere, like Tony Melton, likes to, used to like to smoke this stuff when he was a kid. Really? <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't really recommend that, but what we do recommend is that People can enjoy, I think, the beauty of these things. After the flowers are finished, these heads will remain on the, um, the end of the branches. And this is actually can behave as, I guess, as one of the, an everlasting plant. So if somebody does want to keep it around, all you got to do is put it in a vase. You don't have to spray it or anything, and it'll be just fine. Now, you've given us some really great hints, the, the silver on the bottom side of the leaves, um, and, and that you can... They used to smoke it. And, the, um, and rabbits run around it. And rabbits <laughs> run around it. So, so tell us exactly what it is. Well, it's, uh, it's Pseudonaphalium obtusifolium. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> so it's uh, rabbit tobacco, of course. It's a very, very nice. common rabbit tobacco. And this looks, it looks wonderful. You can definitely make a flower arrangement out of this. And it sort of, it has a sort of a smell that I like, think is kind of pleasant. It's kind of Syrupy. Sort of syrupy. Or maybe it smells like a rabbit. <laughs> but well, it's nice. <laughs> thank you for bringing this for bringing this mystery plant with us today. Um, and we're going to see more a little bit later. Um, and we'll definitely see some on Saturday. I hope you saved some for Saturday. We're going to have some fantastic mystery on Saturday. Hope everybody will come by to see those things. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Dr. John. All right. Back to you, Amanda. Thank you, and we are hoping that everyone will be with us on Saturday. We've got a nice, big, beautiful place at the Sumter Opera House, the pride of downtown Sumter, along with Sumter Iris Garden. So please come. We'll start, the show will start at 3. Come early and visit the beautiful Swan Lake Iris Gardens first. You said that that plant was one you were familiar with as soon as you came in here and that your grandmother used to dot you up with it? Very much, very much. I remember that plant as a little boy. Uh, whenever I would have a cold, mm -hmm. my grandmother would brew it into a tea. Uh -huh. and she would call it life everlasting or like a molasca and it would really open up your sinus and your breathing system and you can sleep well at night like a molasca that's a beautiful beautiful name